part two let us begin all right so you guys have all seen the previous story with the toolbar and now we're gonna add some a little bit of functionality within this toolbar with the bar button items and like I said in the previous story we're only gonna go through one of the elements and guys this can be duplicated within your elements of whatever you want back reverse actions this that all that stuff so that's what we're gonna do is uh, jump right into it now the first thing that we're gonna do is go up to the editor and we're gonna add we're gonna show the assistant editor so that's gonna be our side by side and this is how we're gonna hook up the action from our toolbar button bar button item so the one that we're gonna hook up well let's just say this trash can and as you guys have seen in the previous tutorials or if you don't already know we're gonna hold control click from the bar button item into our class that's associated with the view controller which is uh, what do we call this thing uh, switch controller this is again from the previous tutorial and in this case our connection is gonna be an ah, not an outlet but in action and we're gonna name this just simply trash type is gonna be an ID and go ahead and click connect so you can see our IB action has been established here now if you guys want you can go back to the standalone editor we're gonna stay within this because I think it's gonna do us just fine for what we're gonna be doing so now we're gonna flip over to the implementation so you should be in the header file now we're gonna go over to the implement implementation which you can go to your recent files and go to switch controller.m or whatever you guys have called it I'm gonna go ahead and give us a, a little bit more room while we adjust our implementation file here and as you see from our implementation file if you scroll down to the bottom the IB action that we just established is going to be at the very bottom so what we're going to write in our IB action function here is basically we want to get rid of all the on-screen elements so we want to get rid of our switch and we also want to get rid of our segmented controller in which we've established the outlets so if you go up here we can see that uh, we've established our outlets in the header file they have transitioned over with the synthesize method which is our getter and setter functionality to uh, to our, our implementation file here and what we're gonna simply do is uh, similar to the previous tutorial with the toggle switch we're just gonna set the alpha to zero so that's gonna make them disappear on the screen um, technically they're still there but they are set to almost invisibility and so you know I know this isn't you know probably the proper thing to do here but just to show you how to hook up those bar button items that's what we're gonna show you just for the sake of time so um, in this case what we're gonna do is take our uh, first our switch so that's gonna be my switch and we're gonna call that uh, my switch dot alpha is gonna be equal to my switch dot uh, alpha again is equal to in this case zero and not a colon but a semicolon and then we're gonna do the same thing with our segmented controller here which is gonna be my switch dot alpha is equal to my seg dot alpha and then we're gonna set that equal to zero so we've just put two simple statements in here basically setting our alpha to zero when this IB action of trash is implemented and we've assigned this trash implementation to simply the the action of clicking the trash icon so I know it's it's kinda basic kinda simple but you guys see how we connected the toolbar items to a simple action and we've put statements in place to where that action takes place they are gonna happen so we're gonna go ahead and run our application here within our iPhone 5.1 simulation which man if you guys haven't upgraded to the newest stuff you gotta get on this it's just awesome stuff so we're gonna go into the projects here and based on the previous tutorials a switch go into your switch icon uh, sorry switch there and what we're gonna do is as you can see we've got the view controller that uh, we previously did in the tutorial which disables our segmented controller you can switch it on and off now what we've done is we've added this toolbar which you guys are super pumped about 
I'm super pumped for you guys to develop these sweet applications. And we have one of the bar button items, which is the trash icon that we've activated. The rest, if you click them, they shouldn't do anything at this given time. But if you click the trash icon, the elements on screen that we've, you know, the statements that we've told to disable or, you know, basically, basically become invisible have disappeared and that is the sweet I mean the sweet uh, I mean uh, the sweet uh, I mean the sweetest thing you've ever seen alright maybe a lot of bit of exaggeration there but anyways you can see how we've taken a simple you know view controller that has just had a simple switch and segmented controller we've added a whole bunch of robust functionality to the base the toolbar here and we've assigned different actions to those buttons well the one like I said you guys can experiment figure out what you guys want to do with rather the the other elements on there the other bar button items and go from there so with all said and done another element that you guys can implement into your million dollar app idea and let us know when you come up with that because I'll be super pumped for you guys. Anyways, hope you guys uh, are enjoying the tutorials. Hopefully they're making sense. If they aren't, you know, drop us a comment. We're trying to, you know, bridge the millions of comments that we get. Um, or maybe you're one of your comrades out there that already knows a little bit about something or other can help you. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. Follow us, subscribe because there's gonna be more videos. And if you haven't checked us out on Facebook, we're you know trying to post there some of the sweet stuff that we find because it does relate to some of the technological issues out there that really mean something to us and what we're doing. Um, so check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Um, really excited for what we're doing with uh, you guys and moving forward. So we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. And uh, hopefully you guys have a nice... So we'll say morning.